Part 1. Retrieving your sample. We begin by finding our water sampling bottle and its cap. Firmly place the cap onto the bottle so that no water can enter. Submerge the water sampling bottle underneath the surface of the water, then remove the cap and allow the bottle to fill. Be sure to tilt the bottle at an upright angle to allow the air inside to escape. Please note that any unwanted oxygen will drastically affect the results of your test. Recap your bottle when it is completely full, and then take it out of the water. While adding solutions to your water sampling bottle, be careful not to introduce any foreign oxygen. Add 8 drops of magnum sulfate, which is the light pink solution. Then, quickly add 8 drops of alkaline potassium iodide azide, which is the clear solution. Invert the bottle several times, if you'll notice a yellow precipitate will form. When both solutions have been completely integrated, leave the precipitate to settle below the shoulder of the bottle. This may take a couple of minutes. The top should be clear, and the bottom should be a yellow-orange. When your precipitate has been completely settled, proceed to add 8 drops of sulfuric acid. Your sample should now be completely orange, with a few reddish fragments. Invert your bottle repeatedly until those fragments dissolve. Note that with more dissolved oxygen, the more orange your solution will appear. Part 3. Titration Pour the solution that you have prepared in Part 1 and 2 into the titration tube until the 20 milliliter line. Take your titrator, which is your needle-like object, and ensure that it's completely depressed below the 10 milliliter mark. Firmly insert the titrator into the theosulfate container. Flip the container and extract exactly 10 milliliters. That means that the titrator should be full until the zero line at the top. Insert the titrator into the titration tube. Titrate at one drop at a time. Your goal is a palish yellow color, not clear. Do not make the mistake of disposing the remaining theosulfate solution inside your titrator. Instead, place the titrator aside for now. Do not empty or depress. Find the starch indicator solution bottle, then add 8 drops. Your solution will turn blue. Dissolve thoroughly. Pick up your titrator again. From that point, you may continue titrating. If your titrator empties, refill the zero mark with the theosulfate solution and continue titration. Every time your titrator empties, then you have used 10 milliliters of theosulfate solution. Your goal is to make the blue solution clear. Say you have to use 6 milliliters of theosulfate solution, then your result is 6 ppm dissolved oxygen. For example, 12 milliliters is equal to 1 refill and 2 milliliters used. For example, 12 milliliters is equal to 1 refill and 2 milliliters used and will give you a result of 12 ppm dissolved oxygen.